everybody, welcome back to Make It With Mod Podge. My name is Kathy Fillion, and today I'm so excited to share with you this really cool Nightmare Before Christmas project. I've got a book stack that we've covered with these fun fabrics, and we're doing a couple of different types of pumpkin makeovers. I got this awesome Nightmare Before Christmas. We got our Jack and Sally's, and we're gonna show you how to do these cool, really simple glittered pumpkins. For this project, I am using Mod Podge Matte and Mod Podge Fabrics, and I got this amazing collection of Nightmare Before Christmas fabrics for these designs today. Now don't worry, no books were harmed in this project. These are some old outdated coding books, legal books from the state of California that were headed to the dump. So we're just gonna give them a little makeover with this fun Nightmare Before Christmas project. For the pumpkin, I'm adding a base coat of Mod Podge Extreme Glitter in silver. This will just create a light dusting of glitter. Next, I'm going to cut out my designs, my little Nightmare Before Christmas motifs from 100% cotton fabric. Wow, you guys, look at all of that beautiful sparkle. I love the way the Mod Podge Extreme Glitter looks. Now we're ready to add our fabric motifs. I'm gonna use some Mod Podge in matte. Just apply it directly to your pumpkin and then add your fabric pieces. Now I did these all the way around the pumpkin. It will dry in about 20 minutes. You do not need to top coat. For the stems, I just used a little bit of black paint to create a coordinated look. All right, let's work on the book stack. I'm using some old outdated legal books as my base and some awesome Nightmare Before Christmas fabric and matte Mod Podge. I'm sealing the edges of the books with a little bit of Mod Podge just so they don't come apart. To antique the edges, I'm using Treasure Gold on the pages and along the edge of the book. Next, you're gonna to wanna to measure your book and cut your fabric to size. I'm using Fabric Mod Podge along the book spine and on the front and back to attach my piece of fabric. It's really simple, just apply a thin coat and then you'll go ahead and flap your fabric right on top of it. Give it a little light press and then if you have any extra hanging over, just trim that away with scissors. You'll do this to the front and back sides. Look at all the cute books. For this design, I wanted to add a little bit of trims to the spine. I just attached them using Fabric Mod Podge. For the mini glitter pumpkins, I just painted them with a coordinating color of paint. Then once it was dry, I added a coat of Mod Podge, and then it's as easy as sprinkling glitter onto the pumpkin and allowing them to dry. Well, I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial. And if you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments and we'll circle back and be sure we get them answered. And there you go. You can see how we took a plain old pumpkin and some old books headed for the dumpster and turned it into this really fun Nightmare Before Christmas motif. This would be so cute on a mantle or a coffee table or even a bookshelf. Thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure you use the hashtags plaid crafts and Mod Podge so that we can see what you're making. We'll see you back here next Thursday with another video.